I will show it to you easy second object catch in one hand. It's really cool, easy visual trick and you guys can use it in a few different scenarios. When for example, you use a bottle without pool spot, when you use three pieces cobbler shaker, or just like I recently showed to you guys with two jiggers. So when you try to catch a uh, cap, I would recommend to practice of course just without bottle and start practicing with a small object, maybe um, with the cap like this. And all you need to do is just to catch between these three fingers. So like this. Try a few times, you don't have to throw with like too high or too fast. It's just this easy throw right in front of you. Like pretty much this, this should be the gap and do it like this. One, two. So like only catch with two, three fingers. Pam, pam. Once you get confidence, you totally can move to, for example, beaters. Maybe you do like with just a small bottle, a little bit bigger. This one probably is too easy. So just uh, open before you pour beater. Uh, this is this will be the catch. One, two. You will see it's super, super easy to catch with a small bottle. So of course, if you don't have any experience of tossing objects around, you can totally just do this. When you open, place it uh, into your hand. So it look like this. Keep in mind, your goal is to catch it like really smooth without really moving the hand. So cap goes straight into your hand without moving too much of your left hand. So when you finish with beater bottles, you can start practicing with just like a small bottle like this or maybe use um, uh, something definitely not as big as, for example, bottle of this shape and all you do just again you either place it if you're not um, comfortable if it's too full because uh, you need to catch it really smooth you don't want to have any movements with your left hand like basically when you throw this should be like really um, uh, easy catch without moving of your left hand because if you will do any movements uh, there's a chance you might spill so you just gotta catch it like, like really really easy I also would recommend to avoid bottles with really big caps I mean I totally can do it but you will find that it's definitely more challenging than just a small cap especially you see we have like a pretty big uh, bottle and then it, you see it's a little bit challenging to catch so any other bottles fine there's like few exceptions with the massive caps like this one but still if you guys are afraid to spill or not comfortable with bottle you totally should try practice with two jiggers just like I showed to you in previous episode when you do the pour with two jiggers now you can just do the same you grab the first one and then do a little toss and catch it between uh, fingers or even easier you see like for example you can um, grab first jigger with your index and middle finger and then it's even easier to catch between your thumb and index so it look like this one two so just keep in mind you don't need to throw it from too far to throw like this so I just prefer uh, easy efficient uh, moves like this and last variation I wanted to show you how it works with three pieces cobbler shaker so it's pretty much like this the same catch and you hold it between fingers I hold shaker with only index and thumb and you just practice few times one two one two try not to make big movements to avoid spilling drink so just do like this one two and then do the pour. Uh, I tried with different shapes. Uh, it totally works the same with the bigger cap. So you see in this case, I'll use this uh, uh, shaker, uh, smaller shaker, but much bigger cap. And it's pretty much the same, it looks really cool. If you like it guys, let me know in the comments what do you think. So it's just again, it's super easy and it looks pretty cool. Thank you so much guys for watching this short episode. If you liked it, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button like this. We prepared two videos for next week, bar magic and two at the famous aviary bar, so I will see you next week.